Welcome back to Sunday League Football where we can finally bring you a game. However, this game has fallen on Easter Sunday and where our ground is a private ground, is closed for Easter, which means as the home team, we've had to find an alternative pitch. So today we're basically home and away. To be fair though, I was more of a neighbours man myself. Much better. So today's a league game and we are facing East Tilbury and Linford. Last time we faced these we won quite convincingly but we know this time round it's going to be a completely different test. Something else that's slightly different today is we're actually putting the posts up. We're usually blessed with turning out to our home ground and the goals are already up for us. Hello Dan. So this for us is a very rare occasion. However for the majority of Sunday league teams this is just a normal thing. Fish, bash, bosh. Should we find out who's starting today? Let's find out who's starting today. As per usual we've got Sean in between the sticks. Back three ahead of him we've got Graham, Coxie and Aaron. Left wing back we've got Nolsey. Right Right wing back we've got Jamie, in the middle we've got Rick and Luke, ahead of them we've got Kieran in the cam position and then up top we've got Nick and Tugu. Just the two subs today and they go by the name of Super Dan and Sam. So here's Nick adding a couple of final touches to the most decorated posts in football, a couple of handshakes and then we're ready to go. And so first action of the game is with East Tilbury in this near side. It's a throw from number 19 as two puts it into four. He plays it up the field as number 12 gets the better of Aaron here. Does well to keep the ball in and then cuts inside of Nolsey. He then plays it into the box. Graham's on the end of it, but he fails to clear it. It falls to number two, hits it first time. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. Oh. Fuck's sake. One minute in. Not even one minute in. I've timed it. It was 45 seconds from kickoff. It's not going to kick off. Kick off. In some ways, if you're going to concede, it's probably the best minute to concede, as it gives you the maximum amount of time to get back into the game. So Kieran wins this header here. It falls to two good. He gets it off 18, and it falls to Nick. He then makes his way into the box, fires it first time to the right, but that's straight at the keeper. Throwing now on that far side from Jamie. It's a long one into the box. It comes off at the defender, and that goes out for a corner. The corner's whipped in by Nolsey over everyone's head, but Jamie's there to head it back across goal. In it goes, Nick. Yes! yes! Well, there you go. It wasn't the most powerful header from Nick, but we got the equaliser and we're back in this game. Kick off. So we're looking a little bit more alert now as Luke looks to win the ball in the midfield. He puts the pressure on number two, plays it back to the keeper. He looks to clear it up the field, but it cannons off a of Nick. Not into the back of the net, though. It falls out to this near side where number 19 looks to clear it out as Nolsey puts the pressure on. That's a throw. Nick with a long throw into the box. He's headed on by Kieran towards Rick on that far post, but he can't get there and that goes out for a goal kick. Number four now playing the ball over the halfway line to number three. Luke does well to get the tackle in and clear it away. And it's a fantastic first challenge from Rick. Then a great second challenge as well as Nolsey picks up the ball. He then plays it up to Nick here, who back heels it first time. If he'd have only held on a little bit more, Nolsey would have got there, but the keeper gets out and collects that easily. Number three now playing the ball over towards number seven, but Coxie gets the interception in as he plays it over the top to where Nick is. It looks to be on on goal at this point, but number five gets there before him and plays an awkward ball back to the keeper, who deals with it as best as he possibly can, and that goes out for a throw on this near side. The throw is taken by Nick into the box. It falls to Rick, bounces off a two good, half cleared by number four as it falls to Jamie. He shoots, but that goes over the bar. Number three for our opponents now playing it up to two, he flicks it past Coxie there. This lad's got plenty of space and time over that far side as he plays the ball past Graham into the path of number 12. He shoots, he's blocked by Aaron, shoots again and it's saved by Sean and he gets a slap on the arse for his troubles. Meanwhile down the other end the ball's in the air and Luke wins it as it loops over the top of the defenders and Nick looks to get in front of number 5 but he's being held back here. Ref not interested as Nick tries to make something happen but that goes out for a goal kick. Throwing now on that far side, headed away to number 14 as he volleys it clear but only as far as Luke as he looks to get it under and make his way into the box. He's taken out from behind by number 2 and that my friends is a free kick. So it's Luke and Nolsey that stand over it. Luke in the past have taken these free kicks, but it's Nolsey that runs up to it. Oh! Fantastic strike from Nolsey. It was top bins and he's off to celebrate with his opposite number and the man who told him he was going to sky it. High five from Luke, high five from Kieran, a hug from Nick and that's 2-1 to Palmer's FC. Kick off. Once again we find Nick on this near side taking a long throw in towards Kieran as Sam singing Shakira and Rick blazes a half volley over the bar. Luckily my breasts are small and humble. <laughs> oh my god! Oh. Unlucky. Here we go again now as Luke plays the ball into Rick on the turn, plays it out wide to Nolsey. He lets it run past him, looking for a ball to go into the box and he does just that here and just inside the box on the end of it on the volley is Rick again but that's just over the bar. Goal kick sent long up towards the halfway line. Kieran wins the header here. Four doesn't challenge it and somehow it's a free kick to our opponents. Free kick's taken short by number five here into number two who plays it into number four. Luke looks to win the ball off of him there but he does well to hang on to it. The loose ball's picked up by number two and Graham takes him out and that's a free kick on the edge of the box. Troy not on linesman duty today but Waterboy duty. He's slowly becoming a fundamental member of this club. But anyway, back to the free kick and it's number 18 that steps up to take this one. Is it as good as Nolsey's? No, it's not but Sean's made a hash of it there as he drops it into number five but he recovers well. So that's half time, a shaky start to the game, but we come back into it and we lead 2 1. Let's get some thoughts from the Worldstone Raider live from the freebets.co.uk stadium. Palmer's FC, you've got no fans. Well, actually, you have, mate. Sorry, sorry. 
Nice one, mate. And he is right. We've just hit 10k on Facebook and Twitter. So if you don't yet follow us, be sure to do the following. You've seen the games, you've seen the goals, you've seen the action, but it's now time to follow us on the socials. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. You know it makes sense. Yes, you do. But enough of that. It's time for the second half. So we start the second half better than we did in the first as Kieran puts the ball through to Nick. Number five fails to clear that as Nick gets on the end of it. Fires with the left, but that goes across the face of goal and out for a goal kick. Unfortunately, our aerial cam has just turned up 45 minutes late. What's the point, mate? I'm not interested anymore. Get out of here. Here come East Tilbury now as they look to clear their lines, but Rick pounces down to win that challenge. 16 headers into the path for Too Good. Too Good plays it back up. 16 clears again, but this time into the path for Nick. He knocks it over for Kieran. Defender gets ahead of him and that goes out for a corner. So it's Nolsey that swings the ball into the box, but I can't tell you exactly what happens because Andrew would rather look at the linesman. But what I can tell you is it goes out for a goal kick. Another good challenge in the middle there from Rick as he wins the ball off a of number four 18 with a not so good challenge on Kieran and that's a free kick to Palmer's. This one's a bit further out than the one in the first half as Luke dinks it over the top to Kieran. Unfortunately the ball doesn't fall kindly to him as the tackle comes in from number four. Rick gets the shot in but the keeper makes a save. Pressure continues as Nick picks the ball up from deep. Plays it out wide to Nolsey. He sticks his foot on it then plays the ball into the box as it goes over the head of number 16. It falls to Rick who fires it back across goal but the defender gets their header too good and puts that one out for a corner. Once again the corner's whipped in by Nolsey but that's easily cleared by our opponents. Nolsey now calls in havoc as he switches sides and puts Puts the ball into the box towards Kieran. He nods it on for Rick. He ends up getting a foot to it as the keeper puts it out for a corner. Instead, the ref says it's a goal kick, and the keeper then takes that goal kick. Then the ball's brought back for a free kick, and then for some strange reason, the ref decides it's a drop ball. And Nick gives it back to the keeper. Confused? Me too. Anyway, here comes East Tilby as the ball's played over to number seven. He chests it, hits it first time, but that's an easy save for Sean. Nice hat. Who's your mate? Nice bike. We started the second half with a lovely bit of sunshine. Now it's turned crap. I mean, I don't mind a bit of wind, and I don't mind a bit of rain, but I do mind a bit of wind and rain. And guess what? It's windy and it's raining as Tuka puts the ball into the box. Kieran gets hit by a giant raindrop. But that doesn't affect him as he smashes the ball past the keeper into the back of the net. And that's now 3-1 to Palmer's FC. Wipe that lens. Kick off. The rain really coming down hard now as Jamie plays the ball into Nick. He gets taken out. But Rick continues his run as he finds himself in on goal. He fires it, but that's just wide of the post. Surely this man is due a goal very soon. This ain't fun. So the rain continues and the ball's over that far side with Nick as he plays it back to Nolsey. He takes a touch, plays it into the box. The first defender misses it. The second one misses it. It falls to Jamie. He fires it. That's where Wide and Tugu can't get on the end of it. Wipe that lens. Magic. What a difference that made. Even though it's still raining, the sun's made an appearance now as Jamie puts a great challenge in there. Coxie gives it back to Jamie as he makes his way up the line. He's looking for a pass and he finds that in Rick here on this near side. Rick takes a touch and plays it inside to Tugu. Tugu then brings it forward and then plays it back outside to Rick. These people are in the way as Rick looks to put the ball into the box. He does just that, but that goes over everyone's head and out. For a goal kick. Rick again now at the heart of the action as he has been all game as he gets the ball off of number four. He links up well with Too Good here as he makes his way into the box, gets away from 14 and 18 as he puts the ball into the box. What? Oh, oh, you don't get a ball of three. That is. Oh dear, oh dear, Nick. That's a pretty bad miss there, but was it as bad as the one a few weeks ago? But the keeper makes a save. He's out to Nick. Yeah! Oh, that's genius! It's certainly a tough one, which is why you're going to decide in the poll above. Enjoy. So anyway, we carry on, and it's a long goal kick up the field from the keeper. Kieran wins the ball in the air. The loose ball finds the defender on this near side, who clears it up even further. Andrew then looks to be having some trouble with the camera here, as Coxie then clears it, but only as far as number two shoots from distance. Sean looks to a struggle with that one, as number 12 follows it up. Sean's hat falls off. The ball's in the back of the net, and that's 3-2 to Palmer's FC now. Could be a very nervy ending to this game. And so we kick off. So as you can see, it's great weather for sliding, as Rick picks up the loose ball here with a fantastic challenge on the number four. Referee doesn't think so though and that's a free kick. Free kick's taken by number five up to number four just over the halfway line. He then plays it out to this near side where number 16 is. He takes a touch and plays it down the line to number 14. Back heel from him but Coxie wins that one but then loses out to the nutmeg from number two. And then it's a clever little ball in between Coxie and Graham as 14 picks it up. He fires it but that's cleared off the line by Super Dan who's recently come on for Aaron. A bit of possession of our own now as Nolsey picks up the ball, puts it into the box. It goes over 16's head and Nick's there to collect the ball. He cuts it back for Luke here but the touch is heavy and that goes through to the keeper. End to end stuff now as number three picks it up for East Tilbury and Linford. Dan's there with a late challenge and that's a free kick on the edge of the box. Number seven's looking to do what Nolsey did in the first half as he runs up, takes a shot, it's over the wall but Sean makes a great save to send that out for a throw. The throw's taken long into the box. On the end of it is Rick who wins that one and clears it as well but only as far as number seven on the edge. It bounces once. He hits it first time but that's well over the bar. Sean then takes the goal kick. Yes! <laughs> So there you have it. That's the first time we've ever done the double over East Tilbury in one season. And we've also made progress in the league. We're up to sixth place. It's the highest we've been all season. Don't get a nosebleed, boys. But as you know, we're playing catch-up massively as we're still three to five games behind those around us. And we'll be set to fall behind again next week as we turn our attentions to the cup. It's a quarter-final tie against a very tough side called Staines, and they are currently top of the Premier Division in our league. But until then, as always, thank you for your support, and we'll see you in the next one. Aaron, my friend, I know you're tall, but you're not that tall. You were so far off, you could have had Scottish on your shoulders, and you still probably wouldn't have got it.
Maybe switch it up, add a couple of Oompa Loompas and you might have got it. The ball hung up for so long you could have gone to B&Q and come back and stood on one of these bad boys and you might have got it. To be honest, I wish I got a cherry picker last season when Wayne told me to get one because with one of these you might have got it. You know what, I can't 100% be sure that all of these will work, but if you go to Dubai and stand on the Burj Khalifa, you definitely would have got it.